A layer is the basic element that allows you to populate a composition. It makes up one of the elements of the layer stack. The triangle on the left provides access to the layer parameters described in this tutorial. For now, we'll focus on the contents of the main line of the layer. Index. This is the number of the layer position in the stack, starting from the top and beginning with 001. Color label. This sets the color of the block in the dope sheet on the right side of the timeline. Clicking on this label allows you to choose another color. Name. This defines the name of the layer. Pressing the F2 key after selecting it allows you to rename it. Naming layers accordingly is essential for organization. Quick source connection slot. This is represented by a disconnected grayed out plug by default. And this slot allows you to choose the type of graphic source connected to the layer by clicking on it. This connector is a shortcut that allows you to quickly choose the layer source without having to unfold the source parameter. Blending mode and opacity. Here again, you have quick access to two parameters that are also available when unfolding a layer. By clicking on the icon on the left of this controller, you can change the layer's blend mode. The right part is dedicated to the layer's opacity. Note that this quick access controller doesn't allow you to animate these two parameters. To do that, you have to unfold the layer in order to have access to the animation controllers. 2D, 3D toggle. This allows you to change a 2D layer into 3D mode and vice versa, adding a second transform 3D parameter to the list. Visibility. This is represented by an eye and it allows the layer to be completely hidden by visually excluding it from the render displayed in the viewer. The layer always exists in the stack and can be used by other elements through parenting or referencing by external sources, for example, a layer image. This parameter can't be animated, but it can be used in correlation with visibility keys. Solo. This allows you to only display the layer or layers that have this option enabled in the stack. This allows you to inspect one or more layers, usually temporarily, to better appreciate their contribution to the stack. Lock. This prevents the layer from being selected, either in the stack or in the viewer. Since locked layers can't be selected, they also can't be moved. 